In this video, I'll be walking you through how to install Fusion Fix for Grand Theft Auto 4 on the Valve Steam Deck. If you don't already know what Fusion Fix is, I highly recommend watching TJGM's video Fixing Grand Theft Auto 4 with 4 Mods video. I'll leave that linked in the description. Now to start, you want to go ahead and hit the Steam button, go down to Power, and then hit Switch to Desktop. You will need to download the files and do this all within the desktop mode, but I will go ahead and uh, cut to when we're on the desktop. Now, once, they, once you're on the desktop, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to Fusion Fix. This will take you to this GitHub link here. You'll want to go ahead and scroll down and on the right where you see releases, go ahead and click on whichever the latest version is as of when you do it. At the time of recording, it's 2.5.6. Go ahead and download the zip file here for GTA 4 ELFC Fusion Fix. And then you'll have a zip file downloaded that you can go ahead and open within Arc. In order to access the uh, game's files, you'll need to go ahead and open Steam, go to Library. And then once you have Steam open, which apparently opened on my other monitor, you'll want to scroll down until you see Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition. Then you want to right click, manage, and then go to browse local files. Once you're in this folder, go ahead and click on GTA 4. And then here you'll want to extract all of the files from the GTA 4 Fusion Fix zip. So go ahead and copy this over. Just as a quick warning, I accidentally copied the folder into my manuals folder. This is not where you want it to go. You'll want to make sure that you copy it directly into the GTA 4 folder. This way you should see D input 8, update, and the plugins folder all within this. Once that is done, You'll need to do the final step, which is the DLL override for Wine. If you right click on GTA 4, go to Properties, you'll see here under the Launch Options that I have an option here called the Wine DLL override. I'll have this linked in the description, so you can, not linked, but you can just copy this directly from the description. This is required for it to work on non-Windows systems. As you can see here, non-Windows users need to perform a DLL override. Once that's done, uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. You can now go ahead and go back to the gaming mode and then play Grand Theft Auto 4. So now that we're back in the gaming mode, I'm back to the Grand Theft Auto page that I just got to from my library. We can go ahead and hit play, and this should launch GTA 4 with Fusion Fix. We'll go ahead and let that load. Maybe I'll speed this up a little bit until we get in game. So now that we're loaded into the game, you can go ahead and open the menu and then go to the display tab where you should see all of the new options that are added by Fusion Fix, as well as the uh, some of the options under the graphics tab and under the game. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.